careful of the blood. I have a feeling that won't be a concern today. Of course it won't. Master Ribbon, you and I have been friends for a long time, you see. And to have a close friend lie to my face blatantly, do you have no idea what I've had to sacrifice to get to this position? I've had enough of this. Please, kill them both. I'm sorry, what? Warriors around, don't get caught in the mosh pit Fuel to the fire, ain't nobody can stop it Trouble in my city, but you know I'm across it Got a 40 on my hip and I'm liable to spark it Throw down these hits, my click is indivisible I aim, you duck, I squeeze, now you invisible I'm not afraid of getting physical All these different chemicals are fucking up my visuals Bloods on my hands, got slugs on my gunners Yo, we notorious, we ain't no runners Bloods on my hands, got slugs on my gunners Yo, we some warriors Hello everyone, and welcome back to San Andreas' Finest. We are rejoining Harper Street here as he goes back to work for yet another day with the governor. The governor is out of the hospital and apparently at home. Harper has not seen the governor since he went into the hospital, if you saw that last video. And uh, yeah, we're going to see how that plays out. Also, a couple things I want to note real quick is our last video, I was just very low energy uh, in the last Harper Street video, and I'm really sorry about that. I heard myself after I was editing it, and it was just very, very roll <laughs> i don't know I, I guess i was just very tired that day or something i don't know what it was this wasn't quite all there and uh you also notice that my graphic <clears throat> excuse me my graphics are a little bit lower that's because uh this is right after a very uh the patrol with the tornado so uh there's a lot of uh i had to lower my graphics during that patrol and i forgot to set them back up again so yeah graphics could be a little bit lighter today but that's fine anyway let's get right back into it all right governor's house is right up here And, of course, this is the governor's house. Aren't you, uh, aren't you that scientist from Humane Labs? Yeah, the, the governor told me to meet him here. Oh, gotcha. Do you know where they all are? I do not. Alright, I'll take a look around. Thank you. So that's that scientist from Humane Labs, the like assistant of Dr. Ribbons. I wonder why he's here. Is uh, I don't know. I kind of felt like that scientist was a bit of a nobody, <laughs> you know, like I hope the player doesn't take offense to that. Wait, no. How's it going? Yeah, it's going all right. It's going all right. Thanks for coming and joining us today. I know it's ain't your usual feel, but I think the governor needs uh, an escort today, if you know what I mean. Someone from his staff to assist him, and Thrawn's unavailable. He's uh, having to deal with other things. I understand. Well, I can do whatever he needs. Excellent. Have you met the governor? Have you, have you seen him yet? Is the governor here? Or... No, I just got here and I saw that, uh, that other doctor from uh, Humane Labs, the little guy. Good. He's coming with us. He's He's, he's got... He's helping me out with one or two things, all right? No doubt. Go knock on the front door. I'm going to go have a chat with this geezer, all right? Yeah, where is that front door? Yeah, that one. Yeah. Ah, hello. Governor Darkin. Lovely to see you, wait. You as well, sir. I see you're doing Thank better. You. Yes, I am doing and feeling better. Unfortunately, I am uh, a certain individual has decided that they wanted to take uh, matters in their own hands, so to speak. Oh. You'll find out later today what I mean. However, we've got some important business to do. Today I'm waiting for a call from some associates of mine, and we will uh, be on our way. Fair enough. Whatever you need from me, I'm here. It's funny you should, uh, say that. I think by now you might, uh, well, I'll discuss it shortly in the car. Hello, Mr. Cycles. Is that correct? That's your name? Yeah. Hello, Mr. Cycles. Of course. Thank you very much. Yes, how are you feeling today? 
Uh, I am alright. How about yourself? I am feeling mighty fine, thanks to your boss. Just gotta make a phone call, Gov, yeah? Yeah. Uh, my last visit to your organization resulted in some unforeseen medical circumstances that has unfortunately left me a little scarred. But I shall not stop, that shall not stop me from doing my plan. You know, I, I told him not to let you near that room. I, I, I'm so sorry on behalf of the, uh, yeah, it's, I am so sorry. You don't need to apologize, Master Cycle. I think your boss will be sorry enough very shortly. Master Street. Yes, sir. Could I speak with you privately by the vehicle? No, of course. I think by now you already know of my arrangement with some business associates. Am I wrong in that frick? No, I'm quite aware of the company you keep. Yes, and I'm definitely right in assuming that you will keep this between us and only us. Of course. As you see, my associates here are, well, let's just say they helped keep things running very, very well. I do believe we have an individual at a certain location that needs to pay for lying to them and me. Not to mention theft. Yes, and theft. And an attempted assassination attempt of which, thank God, failed. Just sort one or two things out, Gav, and then we're ready to move. I suggest we start moving now. I quite frankly don't like being out in public very long. Copy that. Let's go. You two in the back. You're good. Your shotgun. More of the Omera syndicate is here. Bloody hell, it smells in here. Sure does. Be careful of the blood. I have a feeling that won't be a concern today. Of course it will. That is acid. Oh. Done very well, thank you. You see what I mean by your boss will no longer be a problem? Uh, I, 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 I guess, yeah. Make sure none of these lot scarper, will ya? with us now have you I, I told you everything I, I didn't do anything shut up I haven't asked a fucking question yet have I stop running your mouth otherwise it's just gonna get you in more trouble right now I had a very interesting conversation with one of your colleagues the other day about how much funding you've been giving them what I want to know is why after I gave you five hundred fucking thousand dollars has he only seen fifty thousand what do you mean? It's all gone to the research. Every every bit of that. Oh shit! Where it, the fuck it's is my records. money? It went. It went to the research. It's in there. Okay. So why are they already crying out for extra funding? They're not. If it's if it's the worker, I think you're talking about. He's not very trustful. You'll come to find that very soon. He's more trustful than you when you tried allowing governor to enter a room that had just been flooded. 
Or when you were covering up fucking information about the certain cures and deaths, eh? I wasn't covering it up, I was telling the truth. We made good progress on knowing we were doing something wrong. But really? How many died? Ah, uh, I, I don't know the exact number. What do you mean you don't know the exact number? It's on, it's in the records, I, I don't have a computer Do you not, do you not remember the fucking details? Come on, mate, you're meant to be a fucking scientist. You're meant to know all these details of VR. It How all goes people? to the records. So we what, didn't you test just... on people. <sighs> you're just pissing me off now. If it's cycles you're talking about, you, you'll come soon. He, he likes to lie to get what he wants. Don't Master Cycles, do you mind stepping forward? Uh, can we test also... your theory? The guy, your boss here seems to think that you are telling porkies to us. Could you please confirm how you know that you have not received the entire funding of which we gave you? Because he, he's been slowly just ripping it off me. He, he hasn't given anything all straightforward. It, 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 I haven't. It, it, it's all underfunded. One of our suits had a like. I think it's like four, five, six of our suits are damaged, and he refuses to fix them with the money. And why is this? Cycles, you know that's bullshit. I told you to put in the request like you're supposed to. And I did. You never did. You're talking to me, not to him. You direct your fucking answers to me, Sunshine. Am I clear right now? But you! Oh, that was not a very good idea, oh, Master oh. Ribbon. Excuse me, gentlemen. If you just want to step back a second. Oh, fuck! Okay, we're gonna listen very carefully. Oh. Alright? You fucking spare me again. I'm gonna cut your fucking tongue off. And you're gonna have to scribble what you're fucking saying. Do you understand me? Yes, yes. Now, who's in charge here? Is it you? No. No, fucking remember that. Oh, please. Show some respect, or we're gonna have to take a couple of your teeth out. Right? Okay, okay. Now, can't you handle a Apologise. Because you're uh, in the I'm wrong sorry. area for that mask. Sorry, so sir. Good. It. Governor. Sorry about that. Master Ribbon. You and I have been friends for a long time. And I am... quite upset... with you. I thought that we were on the same page. That we were doing the same thing. Yet, all you've done is, uh, how should I put it, grown a conscience. Am I correct in that theory? No. They have the full funding. I didn't keep any of it. Are you sure? Because your entire team have turned their back on you and have accused you of uh, taking it for yourself. No, I... I haven't. It's all in the records. Governor, like you said, we've been friends for a very long time and I've never told anyone anything about you. They don't have to know about this, please. So why is it that we've been friends for quite some time, yet for some reason, when I visit your establishment, I visit your team, and go through all of your documentation, and you show me all of the things that you have been supposedly working on, yet somehow there's been no progress made, there's been some money taken, and I end up in a hospital. I, I don't know. I'll well, try thinking very fucking hard. I think you do know, Master Ribbit. I, I don't. I don't. Did you grow a conscience overnight and try to off me like everyone else has? 
No, we've been friends for so long. Why would I do that to you? You're possible of anything. You built a mass a weapon of mass destruction for the government and had no conscience then. I still don't. So why is it that I end up in a hospital after only coming into contact with you? I don't know. I think you do know. I think you grow a conscience overnight. I think that you regret building everything and then suddenly coming into contact with my friends over there. And somehow, somewhere, you've decided that the best course of action is to, before this gets leaked out again, to try and cover your tracks and or prove yourself innocent. But I'm not innocent. I wouldn't... You're helping me cover this up. Why would I try to take out the one person that has my back and has always had my back? To make sure nothing else fucking happens and that he doesn't double-cross you. Yes, you see, my friends here are well equipped to deal with this type of situation. We provided you the money to make a vaccine after great, great convincing on my end to get more on your end to convince me that it is viable. And my personal secretary here has gone through so much trying to keep this between us that you have, unfortunately, been known to laugh. Your friend, Master Cycles there, who uh, I just happen to have an interest in as he has proven himself rather worthy and valuable in making progress on the vaccine, which does put me in some quite good light on, on the public set which is very good for my continued reign of power. Why is it that uh, when it was under your lead, there was no progress at all? Why did you try to lead me in a room and lie to my face about the progress you were making? You were leading me into a room that was known to be infected, and my protection detail had to step in. Mr. I don't. The leak. I do. You, you shut your mouth there, Master Ribbons. I'm not done talking, otherwise I'll have to permanently shut it for you. Do you hear me? Yes. Exactly. You see, you are all the way on the bottom, right? And there's people like me who hold all the control, all the power. And people like my friends here that help people get to that status. You have no idea what I've had to sacrifice to get to this position. No idea. At all. And to have a close friend lie to my face blatantly is very upsetting. I'm not one to deal with liars anymore, Master Ribbons. My entire administration is filled with them. My entire administration is filled with people that have consciences, consciences, whatever it's fucking called. I no longer have the time nor patience to deal with those type of people. I have a plan of which it needs to be enacted. This leak, unfortunately, has put that plan on the back burner, and you, unfortunately, put me in a fucking hospital. Now think very carefully about how truthfully you answer, because I might have to take a power drill to your knee to make sure it's 100% accurate. Bit of incentive there for you. Cycles Where is the, the money? Cycles told the public, and how do you know that? It's in the logs. The day the leak came out, he accessed the file. Are you sure about that? And how, 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 how could you prove that to be a thing? The file is cyberlocked and requires a password. His user ID was in the file that day. Master Cycles, do you mind stepping forward? Master Cycles, you've been accused of uh, leaking some relatively sensitive information to the public and have caused our plan to go a bit skew with. Master, Bra Master Ribbons here is trying to save his life, no matter how futile that might be. I do not deal with liars, and I do not deal with people that have consciences. Uh, which information? 
and to who? He's accused you of accessing a certain file of which he happens to be the only one to have a password and has leaked said information in said file to whomever that dark matter fellow person thing is. For all we know, that could be you, or could be him, it could be anyone. But I'm not happy. I mean, if the file is password locked, I won't be able to access it anyway. That is indeed true. Master Ribbons, how could you have potentially gotten the password to access said file? I have the proof. Oh, do you? And where is that located? Please, humor me. It's in a USB drive. I tried grabbing it before your dudes grabbed me, but I couldn't. And where is the USB drive? He asked you, where is it, not where have you stored it? In my car. Where's your car? Wherever you guys picked me up from, I, you I can't You don't know remember. where you left your car? You guys It'll be inside me. Humane Lab. Someone, please, send a team there to go and check that out to see if it is indeed true. Wait, you're not the, uh, the Dark Matter video? Yes. That is correct. I didn't even work at Humane Labs then, I was hired two weeks afterwards. Yes, you did, Cycles! I'm sorry, what? No, I was hired two weeks after that video. You were hired three years before that video! You're a head scientist, you should note this! I, I only got into stay a few months ago. We'll see what the USB drives I've had like. enough of... I've had enough of this. Please, kill them both. I'm sorry, what? Do me a favor, will ya? Of course. Grab his body and throw Shoot him. Give us a second. No, please. Make sure it's uh, quiet. I'll do that. If you don't mind, I don't like an audience. That's right. Everyone, turn around. Do you mind if I have the room? Yeah, sure. Please, you don't have to do this. I've done nothing! Earlier, you said you do not have a conscience. Do you believe that? I don't, I didn't do anything. I, I didn't do it. Tell me, Doctor, if you do not believe you have a conscience, you believe you have a soul? I believe I should have given the governor a more lethal dose. <laughs> I knew it was you that tried to kill the governor at Humane Labs. But do not dodge the question. Do you believe you have a soul? It... <laughs> Fuck you! Answer the question, Doctor. Because whether or not you die quickly or slowly is dependent on that answer. Doesn't every person have a soul? No, Doctor. They do not. What stands before you is not a man because I no longer possess a soul. I was a man very much like yourself when you were younger, I'm sure. I don't know where you went wrong, but I know where I did. You stopped caring. I continue to care too much. In the course of my work, I tried to stop a bad person from doing bad things. And when I thought that justice would be served, the police and the courts failed me. And when she was set free, she unleashed death and destruction on me and my loved ones. She burned my house and made me believe that my wife had been murdered only so that she could lure me in and reveal that my wife was fine and do you know what the government did then they arrested me a man who sought out vengeance for the love of his life not the woman who kidnapped and tormented my wife not the woman who burned an innocent woman in our bed 
simply because she looked like my wife in order to get at me. When I found my wife, the relief washed over me. But when that faded away, I could not feel anything. I felt unable to love my wife. I was broken, and for that she left me. Charlotte Rowe sought out to destroy me, and she did just that. And I vowed to never let someone like Charlotte ever hurt anyone again. Like you. Like the governor. What are you gonna do, kill the governor too? Yes. And do you understand why? Do you know what I am? No, I don't. A guy in a freaking suit. I told you, doctor. I am not a man. I can take that for you. If you don't mind, actually. No prints. Good call. Thank you. We'll handle the body. Don't worry about that. No doubt. seem to have proven yourself more than trustworthy. Congratulations, Mr. Street. Welcome to my inner circle. Thank you, Governor. <laughs>